Hi everyone, whether you're a seasoned pro or just diving into the world of fabrics for the first time, understanding fabric weight is pretty essential to any sewing project. So today we're going to demystify fabric weight. We'll go over the different weight categories that you can find on our website and how to pick the correct fabric weight for your project. Okay, so first of all, what is fabric weight? In short, it's the key to know how heavy or light a fabric is. It's measured in grams per square meter or ounce per square yard. Fabric weight influences all sorts of things from the drape to the durability of your fabric. Imagine a flowing dress made of a lightweight chiffon versus a structured coat crafted from heavy wool. Fabric weight often affects how a garment hangs on your body. Lighter fabrics are usually drapier, while heavier ones like denim or wool often lend to more structure and form. But there's a twist, and we call it the knit twist. Knitting uses more fibers or threads than weaving, resulting in more weight. Also, knit fabrics often feature spandex or lycra, adding extra weight without necessarily impacting their perceived feel or behavior. This means that a knit fabric with a specific weight can feel surprisingly lightweight compared to its numerical value. So when it comes to knits, remember that the uh, interplay of materials can create a unique tactile experience that's more than meets the eye. The weight of a fabric can determine its durability and purpose. Heavier materials are often sturdier and better suited for items that need to last longer, such as outwear or workwear. On the other end, lighter fabrics are perfect for delicate projects like airy blouses and summer dresses. When choosing a fabric, it's important to consider the project you have in mind. Do you want it to be warm, breathable, drapey, and then match them to the appropriate fabric weight. And don't be afraid to experiment. The same pattern can take on a completely different vibe with a different fabric weight. You can mix and match by combining fabrics of different weights within a project to create interesting textures and visual contrasts. For example, use a lightweight fabric for the main body of a garment and a heavier fabric for details like pockets or trims. Or you can play with layers. Layering fabrics of varying weights can add depth and dimension to your creations. Try overlapping sheer fabrics on heavier ones or incorporating a lightweight lining for comfort. One tip is to keep a sewing journal or take notes on your experiments. Documenting the fabric weights, patterns, and the outcomes will help you make informed decisions in future projects. To make things even easier, check out our handy Core Fabrics Weight Chart. It guides you through our fabric weight spectrum, helping you pick the perfect fabric for your sewing project. When you browse our website, you'll see that we've divided our fabrics into three weight categories. First off, let's talk about the ultralight to lightweight category. Ultralight and lightweight fabrics clock in anywhere from 170 GSM down to 10 GSM or even less. They're like the summer vacation of the fabric world light, easy, and breezy. For example, silk, uh, voile, tulle, uh, lightweight linen and cotton like our shirting, poplin, chambray, ikat, batik, and organic jersey knit fall into this category as well. On the semi-synthetic side, you'll find rayon chali, ecovero viscose, sand wash cupro. Use them to make flowy dresses, tops, and adding touches as interfacing and linings. They're perfect to make statement dress and a carefree floaty blouse. Let's talk about our midweight fabrics. They're like the MVPs of the textile world, weighting in at 170 to 340 GSM. They're up for anything. Tops, bottoms, light jackets, dresses, anything. Picture light twill, mid-weight linen, broadcloth, uh, wool suiting, mid-weight shirting, muslin, and our textured viscose linen. 
Oh, and you'll find Visco's rib, our tensile cotton jersey, our bamboo jersey in this category as well. They're usually fully opaque, although some lighter colors on the lighter side might get a little bit see-through. Uh, they're not as rigid as our heavyweight fabrics, and some of them, especially the knits, can get pretty drapey. Finally, let's talk about the heavy stuff. Bottom weight and heavyweight fabrics like denim, ponty, and wool coating. Um, they usually weight in at 340 GSM and up. So why bottom weight? Well, they're great for making bottoms, uh, pants and skirts. Uh, they've got that dense and sturdy weave, which gives them that bottom of the scale status. And if you're into knits, the same weight can bring on the warm fuzzies like fleece, sweater knits and scuba knit. Remember the factors we discussed are important to consider when you're selecting the fabric for your next project. However, keep in mind that there are no strict rules set in stone. Feel free to go against the grain and opt for a fabric weight that resonates with your vision. Just be aware that your final garment may not behave the same as if it were made with a fabric weight that your pattern calls for. That's why we've got the perfect match collections on our website and specific fabric categories to help you navigate this creative journey. I hope this little video was useful and that you feel more confident selecting the fabric for your next project. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Uh, we're here to help. And thank you so much for listening. Hope you have a great week and get some time to sew.